Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to make another one of these GIF animations in Photoshop. I'll talk you through all the steps that you need to do to make one. Okay, you can see one running in the background. You see there's different layers over here and different frames over here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just skip to a new one, and I'll show you what to do from each stage. Now, I'm just going to quickly hide this. I'll show you where to go to find it. So at the moment... We've got our image, which is this round sphere-like shape, and we've got a background image to animate on and a background layer that is black. Um, I've shown you lots of times how to make one of these before, so you can have a look at those videos on my channel to have a look how to make a shape like this, or you can make a different shape and do a different animation. Once we've done that, I'm gonna make the um, all the different frames here and I'll show you the timeline as well. So the first thing we need to do to create a frame animation is to go to Window and look for the words Timeline in this menu. There it is, Timeline. And then we look for this little arrow. It will probably come up looking like Create Video Timeline. If it does, we click on the arrow and click, click Frame Animation. Once we've clicked on there, you'll see we have our first frame. And in our first frame, we can tell the computer what we want it to have in it so i just want the background in the first one and then the next one i want the sphere shape so i'm going to duplicate that and i'm going to add in the sphere so you can see straight away there's my sphere bouncing backwards and forwards you need to change these to one second or 0.1 second rather so that it doesn't bounce so quickly so then you can see we've got our flashing sphere Okay, that is the basics. Now I'll talk you through what we need to do next. So <clears throat> on the frame two, for my animation, I wish to copy it and I wish to add in another bit of the image. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. So I've now got a layer copy. I'm going to click on the move tool and I'm going to move this layer up here so it looks like so and then I'm going to hide the original one so you can see on here I don't want the copy so I'm going to hide that on here I want it and on here I want the new one so you can see we're going to go one step over here check everything works and then move on to the next one so I've done that I need to copy this and then I need to copy my image again. So I'm going to duplicate my layer again. And you can see now it automatically goes back to layer one. So if I go back to layer one, I close the eye on it. It disappears from all of them. I go back to layer four where I want it and open the eye again. It seems a bit complicated, but that's how we do things. Then I need to move this over here. You'll notice from the animation that I have running in the background I've got them at an angle so in order to do that on here I would go to image image rotation right I do not want to go to, I want to, go to edit transform sorry rotate and I will put in 60 degrees up here and then you can see I've now got this button slower type in 60 and then press enter And now you can see I've got my turned around version here. Now I need to duplicate this again. So I'm going to duplicate the layer again. Click OK and pop it over here to create the other part of the animation. And I also need to rotate it. But I can cheat. I can go transform and I can go flip horizontal. And it creates the same effect. And you can now see, if I move it slightly up, into the right place, click on this one, make that into the right place, goes right up to there, doesn't it? And then you can see I've now got to hide it on this first layer. So we go back here, hide it there, go there, go there, go there, go there and then open it again. So you can see what we have done so far. And now I need to copy both of these again. So I will add a new frame. I will click on what I want to copy. So I will duplicate that layer. 
Okay, okay, okay. I can just move that one down there. Then I need to go to this one. And we need to right click, duplicate layer. Okay, okay, okay. Take, if it's the wrong one, I don't need that. So I'm just going to put that in again. Which one is the one I need? Not that one, it's that one, so there we go. Right click, duplicate layer, click OK, click move, move that one down there. And remember to go back to the start, hide that one and that one, go to my thing. A little test, a little animation. So there we go, we're almost there. We need to do one more copy, so it's the first layer that we wish to copy. So we duplicate that layer, click OK, move it down into the bottom place, go to the first layer and hide it. To layer five and open it, and there you go. We've now got you know what we've done. We've missed a section out, haven't we? Missed duplicating that one. So go on to here and we'll take away that one. So now it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, and that makes our little animation. Okay, we could continue on with this and have more layers if we wish to. And then we're going to get to the point where we are going to want to save it. So, in fact, I'll just finish off the loop so that it's all complete. Okay, so on this one, we need to hide that layer, that layer, that layer, that layer, that layer, that layer, and then we need to add another layer. Another layer, another layer, and then we need to add one more layer, and one more layer. Which way has this one gone? It's going to be the first, that one, isn't it? So, there we go. Where's the one we don't need? that one and then we want one more layer where we are going to have it back to the middle then we press play and we get our animation running exactly as we want it to which is fantastic so then we need to go file we need to go to export save for web legacy Wait for it all to load, it takes a little while. Zoom out on our preview. And click to our save. And we want the HGI and images. And we click save. And we've now got our little GIF animation that we can insert into any of our slideshows or powerpoints etc and then we can leave it running so you can see how it works okay hope you've enjoyed seeing the whole process this time in one whole video and um if you enjoyed it make sure you pop over to quantum carbon nature flowers hit that subscribe button and you'll tick the bell and you'll be notified every time i post new videos okay thanks very much for watching and everything you need to know is now available in one place. Okay, and good.